Today, we're gonna make a solar power fan. Yep. One of the biggest problems that people talked to me about was how difficult or expensive it was to turn on a little DC fan like this. You need to keep in mind that in Puerto Rico, every cargo ship that came into the island, 90% of that cargo ship was water or food, and it was done by FEMA. But the problem is that the extra available space was used for something else, and the alkaline batteries that a device like this uses, they were not on those ships. So it, it was quite a while until the people could actually buy the batteries on the store so when they run out of batteries, they either cannot use it or once they actually got the batteries, it was so expensive. Like I got a friend that told me he was spending 20 to $50 a week just to turn on one or two fans like this. Hopefully this is going to help the people not only in the island, but anybody out there that are watching this video is going to be able to, to have a little DC fan running and have some sort of breeze, you know, cool down a little bit. So stick around. For this project, we're going to use a 10 ohm resistor. We are also going to use our charge controller for lithium batteries that could go up to 11.1 volts. For the fan, we're going to use a DC fan that operates at 12 volts. It can be found either on Amazon or eBay. Even though the battery I'm using, it's a uh, lithium battery using 18650. You don't have to use this. You could use any battery that you have laying around as long as they are rechargeable. For me, this is the battery that I have available and this is what I'm going to use. But you could use any battery that is rechargeable that you have around you. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we're going to use a 10 ohm resistor. This is for security and also because this battery pack can discharge constantly 5 to 10 amps without any problem. And it's going to burn the DC motor on the fan that we are going to use. By placing a resistor, we're going to lower the amount of energy we're going to output from this battery bank up to one amp only. So now that my battery is done, all I have to do is double check that everything is connected the way I want it or the way we need it. And all I'm going to do is check that my voltage is right, everything is well connected. When you use a plug like this, the positive is always going to be in the middle. And as you can see, that's the voltage I need. Before connecting the charge controller, I want to test my battery with the fan and make sure this, uh, everything is running the way I want it. So now we have our battery connected to the system right here. 
you have a battery, you have a DC fan, and all you have to do now is connect the charge controller and take it outside and see how it behaves. But for now, this is super useful if you have a situation where you need uh, to run a DC fan or, you know, to cool down a little bit. And as you can see, it's working. Uh, it's, it's not like super strong, but it's good. It, it feels kind of good to have some sort of breeze with you. And the, the good thing is that we can recharge that battery with the sun by just connecting a charge controller and a solar panel, which is what we're going to do now. Let's go outside. Now I have my solar charge controller connected to the battery, as you can see over here. And this one has uh, LEDs turned on, on green right now. Which basically means that the battery is fully charged. And if the battery was below the voltage of 12, I think it's 12 or 11, it's going to change the color to orange or red. Basically with this little device, we're going to protect the battery to be overcharged. But also, if we connect this to another load, it's going to protect it for over discharge. When we made the battery, we added a BMS that is going to help us protect the battery also for overcharging or over discharging. All we have to do now is connect the solar panel to this, take it outside, and see how it works. So here you go guys, this is the solar power and also lithium ion power fan. Basically, we just have a battery which is made out of 18650, charge controller, a fan, and as you can see, we can connect it to a solar panel while we charge the battery and we keep on using the, the fan. This little project, it's gonna help you in case you have an emergency, a blackout, or you just want to take this to a camping zone and you just want to have a little breeze during the night and you just want to make sure that you will not run out of batteries. I really enjoyed doing this and hopefully it's going to be something that you guys want to do. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. That's the way you let me know that this project is something useful and helpful. Please like, please share, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless you guys. Bye.